My name is Dr. Lindsay Doe. I'm a clinical sexologist and host of this sex curious show, Sexplanations. A survey of 1,103 respondents commissioned by mattress company Sleepline found that 25.76% of Gen Z, 25% of millennials, and 6.57% of Gen X are dependent on masturbation to fall asleep. To fall asleep, I scroll through Pinterest reading random trivia posted by Fact Republic. They're really interesting, and when they're related to sexuality, I think of you. Here are some of my favorites, Fact Republic fact checked with some bonus information that I've come across staying curious. In online dating ads, if the girl mentions to bring roses, it is code for money and means she's a prostitute. I did some research to make sure that this was true, and sure enough, there's an article on Grazia Daily UK interviewing a woman who uses rose emojis on Tinder to negotiate sex work. A rose, a pound. 90 roses for a BBBJ, that's a bareback blowjob, also known as fellatio without a condom. So for 90 pounds or $113, you get a blowjob without a condom. Heads up in the US, a rose represents $100. So bring a dozen for the girlfriend experience isn't 12 pounds, it's $1,200. Now you know. Here's another fact I checked. An intern at NASA once stole a safe full of moon rocks, sprinkled them on a hotel bed, and had sex with his girlfriend on top of them. He was sent to eight years in prison. True, this happened in 2002. Thad Roberts, who'd already stolen dinosaur bones from a museum in Utah, and his partner Tiffany Fowler stole a quarter pound of moon, 101 grams, valued at $21 million while they were interning at NASA. In addition to major theft, they contaminated 30 years of research specimens by having sex on top of them having sex on the moon. I love nerds, but not a cool thing to do. A study done by the neurobiologists at the Wiseman Institute of Science in Israel found that the smell of women's tears will reduce men's sexual arousal and testosterone levels. National Library of Medicine. After sniffing negative emotion-related odorless tears obtained from women, men experienced reduced self-rated sexual arousal, reduced physiological measures of arousal, and reduced levels of testosterone. Whoa, did you get that? Unhappy tears collected from women were smelled by men who didn't pick up any odor, but did say that their sexual arousal was reduced, which their physiology and their testosterone levels matched. Get any man or woman who wears a black ring on their dominant hand ring finger means that they are in the lifestyle, also known as swingers. Not wearing a ring of any color or position is not necessarily a declaration. But it can be. Non-monogamous people who have casual sex outside their partnership, like wives swapping husbands for a night, may call themselves swingers and may wear black rings on any digit to show this, except the middle finger, which signifies an asexual identity. They gave asexuals the middle finger. I read on Factor Public, Inuits really have a term that means Eskimo brother, APAC, or other me, describing a positive relationship with someone who has slept with his wife. While verifying said fact, I found that the plural of Inuit is maybe a nook, not Inuits, that there's a saying in Alaska, you don't lose your girlfriend, just your turn, and that in Japan there's a similar concept, literally whole brothers, referring to guys who have slept with the same girl. This is kind of hetero, so how about friend of Dorothy was a code popular in the 80s, which gay men used for secretly identifying each other. The higher-ups in the Navy believed that there actually was some woman named Dorothy at the center of a massive ring of homosexual military personnel, so they launched an enormous and futile hunt for the elusive Dorothy. I haven't read it, but I found that there's a whole book called Conduct Unbecoming about the LGBT community in the U.S. military. Fact, the lips and trousers bulge on Victor Noir's statue over his grave are noticeably shiny from women kissing and rubbing them. There's a myth that the grave enhances fertility, brings a blissful sex life, or brings a husband within a year. The grave was once fenced, but people protested. And so authorities removed the fence, and the rubbing persists. You kiss the mouth, you rub the trousers. Check this out. If a ferret goes into heat, and does not have sex, she'll die. Too much estrogen will enter the bloodstream, suppress the blood cell production, and she'll succumb to aplastic anemia. I feel you, Ferret. I feel you. Maybe this is why the French women hump the sculpture of a dead man? I don't wanna die. Fact, the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences has estrogen in its list of known cancer-causing agents. Estrogen is a natural hormone circulating in significant amounts through the bodies of half the world's population. Seriously. After reading this and the ferret fucker die situation, I went into a deep dive about women who become aggressively desperate to have sex, wondering if maybe some of us are like ferrets. I'll report back when I can confirm.
stay curious. Here's another fact that may shock you. There are humans and bots called data brokers that collect, buy, and sell our personal information online. They often have our names, addresses, and phone numbers, the basics, but they also might get into our search histories, shopping habits, and social security numbers. The consequence could be as annoying as spam calls and emails, or as dangerous as doxing and impersonating us to do damage. There are hundreds of these brokers making messes that today's sponsor, Incogni, will help clean up. And Cogni is like the transformers to the Decepticon brokers, machine to machine. They identify the risk, make the request to remove our personal data, and maintain our privacy online by doing this over and over and over and over for as long as we're signed up. This is my account within seconds of setup. 128 requests were sent out to brokers to remove my information. Of those, 94 had started the process, 34 completed it, and nine are done bugging me forever. 20 minutes later, Incogni had completed 19 more requests for removal and another suppression. Use the code's explanations and the link below to get an exclusive 60% off an annual Incogni plan. This is Gemma! Hey, Gemma! Momo, mama, dog. <laughs> I'm too energized because coffee, noticeably shiny. Women kissing, robbing them. The National Institute of Inter Ibideba, known ca cancer causing agents. Uh.